Yeah, you guys do good work. I am your boss now, after all, and I'm starting to lean into the role. Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Control. Last time, Jesse revealed a little bit more about our past, both to Emily Pope and ourselves. It's so strange knowing so little about our own player character. Uh, but then again, this place knows so little about its own director, so maybe we're even. However, we were told that this Marshall person can maybe help us learn a little bit more. We also learned that this Ati character is a lot more than he seems. Although, what that means for us so far, I've still yet to figure out. And because this game is so heavy in questions, you know, I, I realize that it breaks a lot. But I'm really grateful that it gives you the opportunity to ask these questions directly. And so we'll see if Emily has Bring anything else to say. Good. Ah, yeah, you do actually have a whole list of new questions. So, Darling's whereabouts. We need to know where this guy is. He's clearly the one with the most information. Or at least the one who's telling the most. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. That's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? I love how your job here is... I mean, you have your role, but your motivation is to satisfy your own curiosity. I am not even mad. This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. It was a tiger shark. Darling's pet research project. I forget what he was researching. How do people work here? <laughs> I, I know we're working with, like, dangerous, potentially world-ending phenomenon, but this is just delightful to me. You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before, and studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the Bureau, including the science, is without precedent. And that's what makes it so fascinating. You're starting from scratch every single time. Although, I imagine it starts to become really interesting when you start finding out that things you learn from one object can be applied to another. I mean, after all, this is just the greater natural world, I suppose. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. Not just a gateway between locations, but worlds. I mean, everything is so crazy to begin with, but when you start adding multiverses to this, and to present it in a way that actually seems so plausible... What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Now, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. 
Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What, I mean, you mean physically? Uh, no, not that I've ever heard of. Why? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hold off on the tests until later, okay? Okay. You know, it's just... Wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. I really love how frank the dialogue is around this stuff, because I feel like this is how people would actually talk about these things. But most game scripts would beat around the bush to, I guess, avoid speaking too directly on them. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Now, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What, I mean, you mean physically? Uh, no, not that I've ever heard of. Why? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. Let's hold off on the tests until later, okay? Okay. You know, it's just... Wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. See you soon. Be careful out there. <laughs> I love how all the doors open off to my side, even if I'm not going through them. It's just an amusing thing that happens sometimes. Yep. Yep, this place is perpetually under attack. Don't worry, Jesse Faden is on the case. The best director of all time. Yep. Uh, once you start upgrading yourself, this combat gets even more satisfying. Like, it's such a rare thing, I think, for, uh, for a combat to get better as the game goes on. Or not rare, but when something is, like, introducing things so constantly... I mean, normally action games reach a point for me where I'm like, okay, well, I'm I'm pretty... I, I liked it better before this edition was added. But this is just so good all the time! Nope. Oh, wait, I've just realized it's an actual timer. It's not just, like, a title. So maybe these are, like, dynamic missions that can appear? That's cool. What, are we playing the live service version of this game? I mean, not that I mind if it's totally optional. Uh, okay, up and around, I guess? Yep. Eliminate, ah, oh, eliminate key hiss targets. That's exactly what it is. Okay, maybe we can earn rewards this way? No, you don't. Come on, uh-huh. There we go, hit as many as we can. Boom. You're still up. Yeah. But not for long. Okay, so I guess we just, oh no. I guess we just destroy all we can. Yep. <sighs> I love all this running around during combat. It's so dynamic. Ow! And the rocket guys are being a problem once more. Ah. Yeah, I'm in a bad way here. This is becoming difficult. I need a better position. I need a far better position. Just keeping on the move gets you so far. Otherwise, that should have killed me. Oh, there's a juggernaut as well. I just I can't get a moment to think. Yeah, I don't think I recognize you guys. You're another officer that is being identified by title and or name. And I'm not quite sure. And we might have a reading to do on you. Well, since everything is properly maintenance. Perhaps I can... Ah! See, in an environment like this, it's really hard to get a good angle to throw stuff at you. Yep, but not impossible. I'm d oh my god. Alright, I guess we're going straight to research now. I really dislike this save system. If I die, which is so easy to do, let me try again. Everything seems... normal. Ooh.
I would have thought daylight. Darling? Yep, that's what I thought. Oh no, two of them at once. Alright, uh... No. Come on, rise on up. That's what I'm waiting for you to do. <laughs> you, you peeked and saw I was already ready to bean you in the head. If I come to you... Yep! Yep! So now we're at that classic impasse where I can't really hit you without you dodging. You can't do anything to me. Maybe this will be a bit better? Yeah, there we go. This is better at dealing with you. Found the use of the machine gun. Oh, wow. And this thing packs a punch at distance. Oof. Need to eliminate your guys closest to us. And then we can move up on you. Nope. So much for you. And... Uh, And so much for you. Which means we can return to our regularly scheduled throwing! Of course, you guys are leveling up as we do, so we're not doing one-hit kills anymore. Yep. Well, that was nice while it lasted. Yep. Some guys over there. This is what the shields are for. Yep. And... Uh. Note to self, we can run over ledges while we're like this. Okay, well, if I pick up a garbage can, we can be prepared. Yep. Wow, you went down real quick at close range. Holy heck, this thing is as good or better than the shotgun. Of course, the longer we use it, it seems like the more the spread develops. Yep. Yeah, like, see, that was doing nothing. Alright, we are pinned. May have to use melee. There you go. Look at how that took all our health, like, instantly. Okay, so there's tons of health on the ground. If only we can reach it without dying. There you go. And there you go. But there's still so many up there. This is like the stairs in World at War. Nope. No, oh god. Oh, I just chased it down the stairs. There you go, and there you go. Ah, oh, they're still just coming and coming. That didn't do much at all. Yep. The only thing is that this doesn't seem to stagger on headshots, or at least I don't think it does. Yes, um num num, give me all the juicy health and collectibles you can. And now we should be able to get through there if we can destroy these things. Is that all? No, there's something. And in we go. I love that false security of coming in here, and everything seems so normal for just a moment. Until the ambush comes rushing in from the side, almost like they left it this way on purpose because they knew we would be here. Well, we learned that there are still people alive in here, so maybe Marshall's doing okay? Uh... Let's do some exploring before we move any deeper. For who among us has touched the foundations of this world and deemed them solid? Dr. Theodore Ash. I mean, that's the real purpose of this place, isn't it? The fact that the average person would lose their mind if they knew just how unstable things really are. Hubert, Blackrock Analysis. Hi, Carla. Does it strike you as odd that Darling insists on having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there. He doesn't even let us have lines or anything. Don't get me wrong, beats a day in the lab. Plus, it's always great to work with you. Oh yeah, I finished the comparative analysis of the two Blackrock samples you sent. The 
Prism, or whatever you called it. So, Blackrock Prism, or perhaps Pyramid? This thing that needed level 5 clearance? I filed them in the usual place, under C for Carla. A handy mnemonic device, right? <laughs> anyway, let me know if there's anything you want to discuss about the data. I'll gladly explain. Maybe we could chat about it over some drinks? Or dinner, even? I can't remember the last time I had a good steak. Maybe we could go together after work sometime? I'm free tomorrow. All the very best, Hubert. There is so much flirting going on in these official documents, it's crazy. Oh, but uh, speaking of, I should look at a couple of things. Uh, I guess we have snipers in the mix now as well that I didn't even notice, but there's a couple of new objects of power that I need to learn more about. Uh, home safe. The object is a guardhouse brand home safe. Weight measurements vary. When bound, the object allows power utilitarians to telekinetically gather items and debris from their surroundings. We don't know what it's currently bound by. Discovered in the basement of a home in Ohio, the object gained rapid interest in certain online forums dedicated to opening abandoned safes. After months of failure, the owner attempted to open it with explosives. The object survived with no physical damage. Bureau agents were dispatched, now confident of its paranatural nature. Blood occasionally emerges from the seam around the object's door. Tests confirm the blood is not human. X-rays taken of the object indicate that something is trapped inside, though the images are always blurred, which indicates the contents of the objects are moving. All attempts to open the object have been unsuccessful. Unsatisfied curiosity, that's the whole name of this place. And the merry-go-round horse. I mean, they said that this thing could end up zipping around the place and not to interact with it. A fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry-go-round ride. The pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of moving short distances at high speeds. This can be quite dangerous when something its path. The object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amusement park. Local something reported that the rides would move on their own, and that they would be chased out. When these rumors reach the Bureau, see, ooh, America Overnight, episode 235, they do get it right sometimes. Agents were dispatched to investigate. Three local something were found dead at the scene. The object attacked an agent in some way, presumably by rushing at it. And someone had to find an object long enough, I guess, to wrangle it. You know what this whole thing feels like? It's kind of like SCP meets Men in Black, isn't it? Because the organization itself is much less shady than the SCP Foundation, but of course the things it deals with are so much more dangerous. And all the while, there's such a lightheartedness to the work itself. A lightheartedness that I suppose would become a necessity. Well, we had the ability to reach through walls. In fact, I don't know how else this was meant to be taken. Like, that doesn't seem like a bug. That seems like the only way to access that thing. Alright, but let's get up here and see what was down that hallway that we removed. Oh, parapsychology. Okay, so maybe we do want to explore a little bit more first. I saw something down the other way. Oop. Not you! I was talking about things that I was curious about. All right, well, back to the machine gun then. Yep! You are not allowed to be alive while being able to do stuff like that. That's the one thing I don't really have a counter for is those rockets. They're just so freaking fast. Oh, there's a document over here. Yep, just knock over all the stuff. Oops, come on. Utilization of paranatural elements. Thresholds have always been sources of great inspiration and great challenge. When a new threshold manifests in the oldest house by something, we never know what new discoveries it will provide to the Bureau, but we must always seize these opportunities. This report will examine the process of distinguishing recent threshold effects based on their utilitarian possibilities. The quarry brought Blackrock, one of our most invaluable discoveries, but if the mold has any scientific value, it's been difficult to find due to the lengths we must go in fighting back the particularly prolific plant. 
These are very distinct cases worth comparing as their study offers vastly different dangers and rewards. Interesting, maybe it has to do with the growth in the in the maintenance tunnels. Or maybe it has more to do with whatever this is. You know, could have something to do with this. Oh my, that's a long way down. Yep. Should I be dropping? I mean, it looks like it might be possible to get down there. Especially with the dash ability. It's a detour, but I'm curious. And what is this game about, if not curiosity? Yep, come on. Yep. Almost didn't make that one. Okay. Proper use of dash can actually be useful for effective falling, I should say. In fact, uh, it seems like we stop in mid-fall when it happens, so perhaps it could be even used to break our falls? Yep. Well, it really is a long way down, but at least there's an elevator at the bottom. One which I guess we'll have back with us once we claim it. Found where this bathroom went. <laughs> Oh, and I love how they've even set up monitoring devices to check it out. I mean, I guess if there's nothing you can do about it... Maybe we can use these generators to repair something, although they don't seem to be in the best of shape. Oh, this whole area has been overtaken. But even here, my portrait waits. Might I remind you that all of this was a detour? This certainly seems like a combat arena. I'm so freaked out by how quiet this seems to be. Level 4 clearance. Level 4 clearance, so we're not getting through there just yet. Yep, I think I found the solution. Yep, to here, and then yep, and then yep, there we go. I don't need no level 4 clearance. What are you talking about? I'm the director. I can do what I want. What is that object over there? Uh, well, we can drop down right here. I think I should be very careful with this thing. Well, we caught a glimpse of an enemy over there. Let's just drop down and see what this is all about. Should I be breathing this stuff in? It looks very unfriendly. Well, there is some hidden. Pierce zoom boost and energy recovery and a document. Pink flamingo supplement. Agents noticed a transient commonly found outside the entrance of the Bureau headquarters would carry the item and loudly claimed to be responsible for the lack of inclement weather. The frequency of these claims attracted the personal interest of Dr. Darling. In interviews disguised as casual conversations, the transient reported that the item gives me clouds when it's hot and sun when it's not. An event of note occurred during a heavy downpour when the vagrant was witnessed performing a possible ritual with the item. Dr. Darling reported a wait of something seconds before the rain stopped. The vagrant was seized the next day. After something. He was found to possess no something, and was released, presumably not to be a power utilitarian. The item remains in Bureau custody under suspicion of altered status, though this still has not been proven. All known variations of identification formulas have failed to elicit a response from the item. So nothing special about the object, nothing special about the man. But maybe together there is something? Or maybe this is just a crazy hobo who happened to be just convincing enough in just the right spot. Alright, let's get back up. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We know there are enemies. I see you. I picked you up on my crosshair for just a moment. Okay. 
They're sitting here. They're like in wait. Should I try and sneak around you or should I try for a first strike? If I can grab something from the wall over there, those will be pretty heavy hitters, presumably. Nope, you're up. Well, bunk and bunk and bunk. Oh, you're not fast. But you're completely overtaken by this stuff. Okay, do we get a report on you? Oh, personal mods full. I can only carry so many. It's only in areas like this that we can see that, yes, this once was office. And that almost looks like an exit to the astral plane. But I guess we found the source of whatever this is, probably straight down there. Oh, more of you are moving on me now. Group up and slam. It does seem to burst on contact with you. Okay, I need to figure out what your guys' deal is. But I do know that that one over there might be a little bit different, so... Let's just smack you right off of there. Ah, yep, nope, you've got ranged attacks. That's what I thought. Bang. You're also extremely resilient to damage from the look of it. So you guys... Well, you may actually be Hiss. Just in bodies overtaken... But then again, it's just as likely or something else altogether. Yep. I'm trying to be real careful here. Yep. Somebody else is shooting at me. But where from? Oh. Yeah, you guys might actually, now that I get a better look at you, you might be some kind of, like, plant-based thing. I mean, I know you're mold, but I mean what you're firing at me. Yep. Did that maybe do extra damage since we destroyed your projectile? Ow. All I know is this machine gun's doing nothing to you. Throwing's all we've got. Well, now I know why it gave us the shield. Traversing space is like this, but a dead threat is better than one we're defending against. I think there's more. Yep. 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 Problem is, it's very hard uh, with my setup to press control quickly. Where's... Do we have anything that I can throw? I mean, I can always pull a random thing, but random things don't seem to do quite the same damage. There's one over there. Yep. And there you go. Just look at this place. We may be able to get over there. Hang on, wait. Let's have a look at our map. Maybe something down here as well. I want to once again point out that all of this was a detour. That I could have just walked down that first hall we encountered. And we probably would have met this marshal by now if she is still alive. Uh, this radio cannot be played. And I imagine reception down here must be awful. Lab 5. Try and make a dash for it. Yep. Didn't look like we'd make it for a second there. Okay, all this does is get us straight back up. So these were all laboratories, meaning... Maybe whatever this is was something that got out, some kind of sample that they weren't able to contain. Oh, there's just so much to this. Like, every, every area feels so overwhelming, but there is a control point. Which means coming down here is free from now on. This place is a little dead. Let's get some tunes in here. That's more like it. Oh, I just realized that's a tent. A series of tents. They actually... Uh, imagine working in the kind of place 
where you mount expeditions into the depths of your own office building and frequently die attempting it. So we need to kill demolition experts and we need to kill it using spin mode. And I don't know if the rewards are worth it, but it's just cool to have a lot of different things going on at once. Now we do have a lot of this and we always need more health and we always need more energy. Lots and lots of energy. Oh, and we get an additional personal mod slot, so that's an upgrade in more ways than one. And the ability to launch grenades back. That's going to be a game changer. We have a ton of mods available, but obviously the one I want the most is going to be energy recovery speed plus 34%. So there we go. And we just became a lot more powerful all at once, I think. I really love the sense of progression to your abilities. Like, you always feel like you're growing more powerful, and even though the threats grow also stronger and more numerous, you feel more like you can deal with it, you know? Uh, we have a new mission in the mailroom, but hang on, I am doing stuff right now. Uh, stuff like that makes it really difficult for a Let's Play, because if I were playing normally, I'd have no problem doubling back. Uh, but we gotta, we've gotta move in a linear fashion here. Lab 5. Oh, great. Please, not another puppet show. Is this the sample this all originated from? Those look like eyes. Paradolia is a heck of a thing. Oh, it's a puppet show! What? Building shifts occur at random and without warning, but with the Bureau's cutting edge technology, we can stabilize the oldest house. Safe employees are happy employees. Certain rituals allow agents to navigate the oldest house as well, but accidents do happen. <laughs> Trapping agents inside the walls. I heard you got stuck in your room for three days, Tofa. Too bad you didn't have your book with you. Or any food. And remember, kids, when you feel the floor deviate, it's already much too late. <laughs> this one was more of an instructional video. But, you know, besides the obvious, the most unnerving thing about that to me is the unending absolute terror from that character, even as the PSA is ongoing. Protect the remaining FEC agents. Okay, this is what I do. Boom. Die. Die. So it's just gonna be a matter of killing them quickly. Yep. Oops. Mack them down. Uh, the fact that there's going to be suicide bombers is a huge issue for me. Nope, bang, bang, bang. Oh no, uh, you're already dead. Escort missions are the worst. They're never good. Die. What is that up there? Oh, it's you guys. Oh, there's so much chaos. How am I supposed to protect you in all this? Die. Die. Nope. Oh, you're a good guy. Ow. Ow. I don't even know what's happening right now. I can't see a thing. Bad guys over this way. No, don't rush them. Please, please don't die. Please don't die. I've got this. Ow. 
I seem to be taking reduced damage, too. Oh, God, it's a you! Um, that didn't even do damage to you. Convenient weapon against you, though. No way. Uh, this is just... It's, it's so hard to do anything when everything is so hectic. Come on, launch a grenade. Do it. Do it. I dare you. Uh, there's more... How about you stay away from the bad guys? How about you pick a corner and hide? There's another Juggernaut. We're gonna lose this. Why did you get within melee range of the guy that's four times your size? Oh my god, that is so annoying. Yeah, okay, so... The old, the old truism holds truism. Escort missions suck. Alright, you in there. Uh, I see that you power the lift, which is going to be our only way back up. Man, I can't stand that. That's two for two pop-up events failed. Again, we don't get the opportunity to try again. And it just seems like that one was so based on luck. Like, it's just spamming enemies, and even if you're killing an enemy a second, they just run right into a juggernaut. Entering parapsychology will be our first use of a level three clearance. And it's another blockage. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Well, at least we know she's alive. Hiss don't speak normally, at least as far as I can tell. Yep. Parakinesiology. Yeah, I can see I'm not welcome. There you go. Yep. Nice. Yep. You. I gotta start getting more kills with the machine gun. We have an active challenge for it. You guys firing. One gun. There's a sniper over there, probably injured by some previous attacks. Yep. And who's you trying to flank around? There we go. Just one more, and we earn a reward. Oh, don't want to poke my head out for too long while there's still active snipers. Wait, did you shoot that object out of the air? Uh, and here they come with the rockets. Okay, what do we do now? I can't do anything until I figure out where you are. There's one down there. Nope! I think that got you. Okay, we're in that awkward spot where you're all under me now. So let's... Uh, grab you. I know I can pull from anywhere, but I still like to... Yep. I can't tell when some of these particles are grenades, either. I still like to grab actual physical objects. It just feels cooler. Haha, <laughs> it flew up at your feet. But it doesn't seem to do any damage unless I'm the one throwing it back at you. Emergency call supplement. A uh, transcript of a call to the California State Emergency Services. 911, what is your emergency? Hello? Hello? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? Um, I'm inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I, I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. Okay, and can you describe your surroundings? Unknown noise. Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? Dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. June 17th, 1993. Those are among the creepiest things this place documents. Not just the objects, not just the events, but these little moments in time. Those things that may have been something. Wait, hello? There's someone in there. I guess they were under some sort of observation for scientific purposes at the time. Ah. 
It's hard to see from here, but that actually looks like a crash test dummy head. That is unmistakably shard blood on the floor. Astral Exhibition. So, more or less what we already knew, but there's one part of that that got me thinking. This stuff is all classified, right? But I was thinking, like, classified why? I mean, even t within the Bureau? But then I realized the FBC is explicitly a United States government agency. So, what if there are other versions of this in other countries? I wonder what they have that we don't. We just got our achievement for cleansing 10 control points. No one here. But this lab appears to be in good shape. Collect 80 collectibles. Uh, Astral Exhibition. The Astral Exhibition was originally built for the astronauts to use as a training location. A place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but... Someone was being stingy with the budget. That is the most aggressive someone I've ever seen. Literally redacted documentation. However, once we discovered something, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of the animals, we hope to observe something's behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in with it. But Rome wasn't built in a day. You... you people friggin' brought something back. Addendum. New naming conventions have been established for the Astral Entity, now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. What is that? Some great orb in the sky with light emanating from within. This is the kind of thing I get the impression I shouldn't be staring at for too long. Uh, are we gonna watch another movie? An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective, but that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not a construct of the mind, even. Though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then, one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fume, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. 
This is another one of those times where the more we know, the less we know. And the less I'm looking forward to being the one that deals with it. Is this maybe a construct, a map of the first venture onto the astral plane? Which appears to have been made in Minecraft. Yeah, hey Pete, buzz me in. Oh. Wait, we've seen these. We saw those during one of the trainings. Okay, but how do we deal with it? I mean, I tried the service weapon on one, but it didn't seem to do anything. Oh no. Yep. Who asked us to do this? Who asked us to do this? I mean, it seems to be doing damage, or at least it's acting like it is, but there's no health bar. Maybe I'm not supposed to fight it. Maybe I'm just supposed to make my way through to the other side, or maybe, oh, I see. I'm supposed to lure it in here. All right, but to do that, oh no. Oh no, okay. Okay, I see what I'm doing. Alright, so you to there. And the other one has to go to the other side, but not until we've got... Get up, get up, get up! No, not wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. Into there. That's you. Uh, we can then... I'm assuming this will close the door. There's two switches. What does what? Okay, if I can... Wait, no, what does this do now? That opens this, so what's in that? <laughs> I'm having to really figure this out on the fly. Maybe there's a document that explains this that I missed. I don't know, point is, we need this open. We can seemingly temporarily stun you by throwing stuff at you. That can, oh, that did nothing. That did nothing. All right, we just need to try these buttons and see what they do. You. Open, no, that, you close it. You open back up. Can I perhaps, maybe if we get you inside this containment unit, if I lure you in myself, and then, oh, we can walk through. No, we can run back. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice this doorway here. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I get it now. Come on, you. Right this way. I want you good and angry at me. Right here, right here, right here. Through this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And... Yep. Did that do anything, or did the door not close because I was going through it? I mean, it would have been one heck of a way to go out. But there we go. What was the procedure for getting it back in there? Oh man, the work of an intern in this place. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. I'm coming. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. There they are. Okay, maybe I can beam somebody from all the way over here. Bonk! <laughs> ah, this ability never gets old, I'm telling you. Look at you trying to strafe. I'm not sure if you can actually get your weapon over that lip to hit me from this angle. Otherwise, I feel like you would have done it by now. Oh, you're regenerating health. Wait, I don't know if I've seen that happen before. Does it have to do with that thing down there? Oh. Perhaps. Yep, grenades aplenty. But you botch those throws. Yep. Knock him down. Yep. 
Yeah, I definitely think it has to do with that. Object! Thing is, I don't remember when the first one showed up, so I don't know if, uh, if I have documentation on it. Yep. At least those kills are still good. Okay, we've seemingly cleared out most of what's down here. Now we just need to make a dash across the place and try and hit that thing again. There's red glows everywhere, and it's making me real nervous. Goodbye. Good day to you, sir. Yep. That thing. There's a gun. It's smart enough to hide, which is how I know it's support roll. Boom. Blow up the fire extinguisher. It actually does seem to have worked. There goes your cover. And... Oh, it's just running further and further back. There we go. So much here. And there's a big boy up there. Looks like there's health. Looks like there may be guys behind us as well still. Alright, well, I'm going to focus on you because the last thing I want is getting pinned. Yep. Die. Okay, this guy's gonna make us make a move on him. Yep, oh, come on. I was trying to grab this. Well, that worked. <laughs> right, we need you throwing grenades. Wait, switch. Come on, toss it. You know you want to nade me. Yep! Not quite. Quite. Let's take this place back. Of course this place has a luck department. Looks like they're slacking. Uh, a captive audience. Oh, wait. Uh, investigate the X-ray light box of power. Oh, there's so, there's so much here we gotta go through. Hang on, hang on, Marshall. We'll be right with you. Okay, so first of all, we do have information on those things. His cluster. His clusters are unique in that they're concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his hosts with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. The fact that the Hiss makes an effort to preserve its corrupted hosts underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual, or simply an extension of the Hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. That's so cool. Like, these documents ask all the right questions, and they glean all the right information. This report serves as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box in the Hypnosis Lab, a section of the Parapsychology Division. Physical and psychological training is vital for repeated transition between planes, known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a something session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. That's what we saw in the other room. Gathered data has conclusively proven that something within the astral plane vary wildly between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Group bank. This study extends the works of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong causal links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Ash's original conformity experiments, using a telepathic individual as the subject. 
Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference with the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in a whole lot of something. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of something. Precognitive powers. Urgent. Dr. Darling, last night I had a dream. In the dream, I was given the solution to a staffing problem I'd been presented with just yesterday. The problem is of a confidential nature and must therefore remain unclarified here but I can assure you that the method through which I received this helpful information was undeniably paranatural. I can only draw the conclusion that I possess exceptional precognitive abilities and, as such, offer my services to the Bureau's research teams. We must utilize my powers for the greater good. Signed, Mr. Francis Bertram. You know, one thing that I hadn't mentioned thus far, but had certainly noticed, is that there's certainly a large number of false positives in amongst all the other stuff. I mean, once you know that the strange world exists, well, you probably want to engage and be more a part of it. But then again, the noise is probably what helps keep all this confidential, right? Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden, hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need a talk. You got that right. More of you? Really? Perfect. Yep. Okay, actually, a headshot seems to drop you guys quite handily, unless it was the explosion that did it. Uh, yep. Yeah, no. Oh my god, they're coming around. Alright, we don't have time for this! We are right out in the open. And I don't use the shield because then I'd be pretty much defenseless until it drops. Always an ambush. And I'll tell you what else, I might actually have to wait a second because there is an object of power nearby. Hypnosis lab. Howdy. You're all friendly, but you're behaving as if you're hiss. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there, mesmerized by it. But not us. Why? Alright, let's see what we can see. Hopefully there will be documents or something. Here's what looks to be some kind of x-ray machine itself. But it's the light box that we want. <laughs> okay, we can play with that. Uh, what are we doing here? I I'm confused by what this is. Ah, you literally stuck it on, like, the background noise, if that's the case. Okay, so we want basically level one on all sides but the top. Okay, well, I've been playing around with it enough to have a, a decent feel for how this works. All right, so... Well, that's open now. into. No suit needed because we're obviously built different. Y 
you seize to complete the Astral Plane Challenge. Okay. What is seize? Gold enemies are immune to attacks? Yes, I know. But what is it? What am I... Enemies at low health can be seized. Yes, tutorialize a little bit faster, please. They're moving around. Okay. Wait, we can damage you. F. Oh, we can possess things, or at least uh, bind them to our side. And can you guys perhaps damage... Uh, Damage the bad guys. We gotta be pretty close for this to work, too. There we are. Well, they're distracting them at the very least. Ow. Ow. Seems like taking you also restores your health fully. So that's also useful. Yep. We can get you on side, and we just gotta keep spamming enemies ourselves, which seems fitting, considering you've been spamming enemies at us all day. And then we just keep on doing this until we've got this guy. Meanwhile, we can just kind of hide in the shadows. Oh no. There we are. Good work slash playing, director. You have been... Okay, the x-ray now bound slash validated. And my little minute mouth over here. But that is certainly useful. I always want to grab these things before I go into the next story segment. Their brains were fried when I took over the object. That's a shame. I was really hoping for some backup. Imagine if I show up not only all powerful, but with an army? Although, I suppose, given our new abilities, there's still potential for that. We can also take Strategic Target Hiss Rangers for a rare weapon mod, so that should be nice. And a new ability would also help us out. Plus 50% to launch damage. Launch basic enemies when their health is low. You know, it's only now that I'm taking a moment to see all this stuff. We're, we're only beginning to scratch the surface of our abilities. Okay, I'm here. Trust me, I had a good reason. You're gonna need the backup. Oh. Oh. Huh. You know, I'm used to looking front and back, but I've never had an elevator open on the side before. Oh, and you have got a sizable force indeed. Oh, overlooking where we just were? Huh. Well, let's claim this point and go see who we're dealing with. There you are. I was starting to worry. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah is dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Sure thing. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Understood. And totally fine. Up, oh, you guys are firing a bit prematurely unless there's Oh, there's already a battle going on in there. 
Yep. I just can't react in time to these things. I'm not going to be able to use my new ability here. There's just too many. Too close. Maybe I can get you now. Ah, oh, good, 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 good boy. Moving in there like that. Unless, of course, this thing comes up and locks my ability to hold down F. Let's start this. And just eliminate who we can. What are you guys fighting back there? We are doing tremendous damage with this. And break it! They're like the engineers in Halo. If we can destroy those things early, we get a much bigger advantage for the fight ahead. Maybe more accurate is needed. Wait, can I... Can I take you? I can from here. Boom, our first ally. Can we get some more? Come on, guys. Yeah, I, I know it's I know it's a weird change of pace, but you're you're used to fighting your former friends, aren't you? Boom. One more hit should do it. Uh, can we only have two at a time? I was hoping to build an army. Let me get that for you. See, this is what happens when you rush. Like, God, I really wish they would just let me deal with it. I'm literally... Yeah. Come on, blow up. Your explosions don't cause a chain reaction anymore is the problem. Is that all? Here, let me fix this for you. Okay, this didn't work as planned. Oh my god, what are you? Parapsychology Chief Lewis. Well, Parapsychology Chief Lewis, you appear to be regenerating your shields. Or not? It's kind of hard to see. Yet, yeah, note you are. Guys, I'm gonna need your backup here. Just a little bit longer. All we need to do is smack his shields down, and that'll buy us some good opportunity. And hey, maybe we can get some things done with a little help from my friends. Another incursion. You know, it's pretty rare for the boss to be just another phase of the enemy waves. Okay, now can we claim this point? Man, I really, really wish you guys would understand when to just hang back. Like, don't get me wrong, you guys were actually a huge help against your former research chief. But everything else, I really would have preferred you just keep firing from cover. Protective studies. Finding his lab might be some of the best information we've gotten all game. So it's certainly exciting to finally be getting down here. This way to the lab? Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the Hiss. That would be such an indescribable waste, you have no idea. Yeah, can we move this stuff and see what's back here? Uh, oh, can we climb up all this? What's... Ah, here we go. Knew there'd be something. Oh wait, before we move on, there's a document here. Altered item number 
52 AE analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. Huh. <laughs> I mean, it seems normal, but we saw some sort of aura phasing off of it. Oops, sorry. Keep your distance from the glass. Spin grouping efficiency. Okay, that might be something we look into. Uh, but here, uh, it's a little bit more obvious what we're supposed to be doing. See, why couldn't we start off with something like this and then have further documents hidden once we know what we're looking for? That went easier than expected. You let me hear. Any idea how to make it work? This is such a gold mine. Black rock prisms. Hang on. Black rock prisms are unique formations of black rock, distinct in both their shape and potency. While the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces, the unique something structure of prisms retain frequencies in a certain range with perfect something harmonization. This report analyzes the results of focusing something through a harmonized prism. Methods for the imprinting of non-physical fields onto something, imbuing them with the properties of the harmonized resonance in the prism will be explored and explained. That's so redacted it's useless. Director, it appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. <sighs> guy's literally printing passwords all over the place. So we got... Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Now, what are we doing here? Uh, we probably need one more. Uh, configurations. Can we affect this? Oh, it's right here. All right. Uh, so where do we start then? I get it. These things are a hint and we have to piece out the sequence. He got it, but never all in one place. And I'm now able to see he put tape on them, giving each one a number. Okay, so I'm thinking first one is probably going to be this boy right here. This could be number four, which is, yep. Okay, so that's going to be you there. We'll try it with that. Of course, once everything's together and doesn't work, then we can start figuring out what these whiteboards want. Uh, where's, where, which one is number one? Two, three, five. Where's one? It looks like he was working on something to do with these symbols. Yes, I know. 
Oh, uh, here's one over here. All right, so we're going to stick you there. Uh, does, wait, does the green mean that that's correct, or does that just mean that there's something in it? You guys may be switched. You guys may be switched, so... I guess two... Or no, three would be bottom left corner, and two would be the other guy. Yep. There we go. I can't wait to get into this Black Rock Quarry. prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. We can teleport. I need to ask her now. Before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me Director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faden. Here, you'll need this key card. Thanks. Level four. Emily Culp has set up a base in Executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. With just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Visions of the quarry before we even go there. Here, this will lead back to central research. Is it strange that I really like all of my co workers? I mean, I suppose Tomasi sucked, but he's gone now, so. We have the ability to hire from our own picks. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, we didn't really gain any new insight, but we certainly grew a lot more powerful, and I think the odds are starting to turn in our favor. Plus, Emily was right. She does know something about our brother. So we are closer than ever, for better or worse. But those answers will have to wait, I think. Until next time. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.